Frank, what you got there? Got Monster Energy. Oh, okay. A little tired. Yeah, we're doing great, you know? Yeah. I like that we're starting a little earlier. I remember my shirt this year. Here it is. <laughs> it's nice. Looks it's great. It's actually new. My old, my old one had a hole in it. How'd it get a hole? I don't know. <laughs> I have a lot of shirts with holes in them. Frank, I have something for you. It's right here. Oh All right. This is my first observation of the Wildwood Pizza Tour. I'm hoping to build my way up into a potential alternate someday. Oh, on the if pizza tour. If someone gets sick, if their stomach hurts, okay. okay. Put my time in and serve in any way I can. Lita, what are your qualifications for being here today? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Absolutely saint-like. It tasted like a football. <laughs> so that slice, actually, the sauce on it was in saving grace because it looked horrible. The cheese was not really there. It looked like it had been sitting there a while, but the sauce saved it. It reminded me of pasta sauce. And it would go great on spaghetti. Thank you, guys. I hate when the cheese is just falling off. Thinner crust, good amount of cheese with the sauce coming through at the top here. It's just yeah. a nice mixture. It's, you know, I'm sure there's better, but damn it, it's at least middle of the road. <laughs> 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 What do you look for when you're judging a slice? I like to look for something that makes it not just frozen or pizza. Like it needs to have some, some taste in the sauce, a little bit of flavor. I might like a little more salt maybe. The crust should be firm but not hard. A good texture to the cheese shouldn't be rubbery. A mix a uh, blend of cheeses is the best. A couple factors. Not quite crispy enough and slightly undercooked possibly. Right, you can actually see see the wetness in the uh, dough. A thin layer of that is natural because of the sauce and cheese, but if that's real thick, it gets undercooked. Yeah. For all its faults, it's still a pretty good slice. The ingredients are good, the preparation was the issue. Sam's Pizza, that's a good looking slice. It reminds me of grilled cheese. <laughs> And the ratio of cheese to sauce. There's gotta be a little more salt. What am I eating? Awesome. It didn't taste like pizza. You know, like you're out of food at home, but you have a bunch of random ingredients. Yeah. You have bread, you toast it, right before it gets burnt, pull it out, you have like a half a jar of sauce, uh, a salsa, and you have hard skim mozzarella, and then you pour that on. And then you don't have Italian seasoning, you have the mix of random herbs. So you just like, that's that spice. How's your stomach hanging in there, Chris? It's starting to detect that I might be overeating tonight. <laughs> At first I was a little unsure. It was good, but I thought maybe it could be a little better. And then I got a little further along and I got to the crust and it really brought it all together. It was pretty good. Please. You just ate at over 20 pizza places. How are you feeling? What are you thinking? I am feeling very, very full. A lot of good slices, a lot of the usual suspects. There's always a one dark horse. Who was that? It was Fisher's. Yeah. Remember Fisher's? I was like, wow, I'm not used to that being good. I think it's going to be a tight race at the top. I have no idea who won this year. Fisher's was the biggest surprise. I don't remember them ever being close to the top, and they were definitely one of the best pizzas this year. You had your Nomo, your Frank Cody's, your Max. I personally thought Olympic Flame was not as good. We'll see. We're here to announce the statistics and winner for the 2016. 10th anniversary with an average score of 4.2 just edging out the competition olympic flame no way <laughs> I remember just thinking as I was eating it, like, wow, every bite of this is good. For someone that didn't think it was the best slice of the night, it still was a recommended slice and it got the average. Time to present the certificate. <laughs>
Uh, we did 23 places this year, and we are excited to say that Olympic Flame did rank in the top five. Yeah. It might sound better to learn it ranked number one. <laughs> right here. Pizza, pizza. Good slice? That was a great slice. That was better than Friday night. So I probably never can eat pizza again. I now have a desire to eat pizza again. Yeah, so. You seem to do this every year. For some reason, I promise every year that I, I never want to eat a slice again. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. And then we go to the winter and we, we buy a slice, we get a slice, whatever, and it changes my whole outlook. <laughs> and it gets me excited for next year's pizza. <laughs> Oh, great. <laughs> sounds, sounds crab to me. Sounds delicious. So this isn't even my dinner. <laughs> From Philly? Like, yeah. It's like, uh, what are those uniforms? <laughs> no, I'm a pizza tour, that's all. Five, like, oh, okay. Seven. Make sure to come to my seven breakfast with tomorrow. With really? Yeah. We got two, two eggs, uh, pancakes, uh, 375. So he didn't care about the pizza. He didn't really he was, talk about the pizza. He said come for breakfast tomorrow? Yes. Oh, wow. right. Any slice, one dollar, it's a special, all summer long, one dollar, <laughs> special for the summer. I was like, it looks like a slippery snake. Just <laughs> like, like this. <laughs> Put that on the Any slice, one dollar. <laughs> 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 guys, we got a picture.